In this lecture, you will learn what are the different types of selectors we have in Angular. So when we create a component, for that component, we specify a selector property. And so far we have seen that we can use the value of that selector property as an HTML tag. But there are other ways of using this selector value. So, so far we have seen that we can use a selector like an HTML tag. But it is also possible to use a selector value like an HTML attribute. And it is also possible to use a selector value like a CSS class. So in this lecture, let's see how we can use a selector value like an HTML attribute and like a CSS class. Here we are in nav component.ts file. So here we have our nav component. And for this nav component, we have this selector whose value is app nav. And currently we are using this selector inside this container component and we are using it like an HTML tag. Now let's say we want to use it like an HTML attribute instead of like an HTML tag. For that what we need to do is we have to go to the TypeScript file of this nav component and here we need to wrap this selector value within square brackets. And when we use a selector value within square brackets then we can use it like an HTML attribute. So let's go back to the container component here. And here, instead of using this app nav, this value like HTML tag, let's use it like an HTML attribute. So for that, let's first create a div here. And for this div, let's use this app nav as an HTML attribute. Okay, so here we are using this app nav selector like an attribute. Now, if I go ahead and save the changes, our web application should still be working. So you can see we are still seeing this navbar here in the web page. But now we are using this app nav selector like an HTML attribute instead of using it like a HTML tag. Okay. So when you want to use a selector like an HTML attribute, you wrap it within square brackets like this. Now if you want to use a selector like a CSS class, then you will have to use a dot before the selector value. So let's remove these opening and closing square brackets from here. And now we want to use this app nav selector like a CSS class. For that, before this value, we need to use a dot like this. If I save the changes and let's go to this container component. And now we cannot use it like an attribute. So now we want to use it like a CSS class. For that, let's again create this div element and to this div element let's specify the class attribute and to this class let's assign the value of this nav component selector which is app nav so let's copy this and let's assign it to this class if i save the changes our web application should still be working so we are still seeing this navbar in the web page but this time we are using this app nav selector like a class. Okay, so we can use a selector like an HTML tag. We can use a selector like an HTML attribute like we are doing here. And we can also use a selector like a CSS class. Now, remember that there is no way of using a selector like a CSS ID or any other pseudo class like hover or something like that. Okay, you can only use a selector like an HTML tag or like an HTML attribute or like a CSS class. There is no other way of using a selector in Angular, at least not till now. So this is all I wanted to show you in this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.